Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make Microsoft Access scold you when you're bad. <laughs> now we're going to learn text-to-speech. Here we go. Today's question comes from Samantha in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, one of my gold members. Samantha says, is there any way I can have Access read off, speak, my team's hourly sales total? I think that would be a huge morale booster in our office. Yes, yeah, Samantha, I actually do the same thing. I've got my computer every hour. It reads off my sales total. And uh, that's just a nice little thing to hear in the background while you're working. And it, 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 yeah, it's a little bit of a boost. Well, if sales are good that day. If not, then it's not a big boost. You know, you got to get, get your butt moving. Anyways, anyways, anytime I sit down to do one of these videos, I do a little quick Google search. I check the, I check the interwebs, the Google machines, to see what's out there on it. And I remember it about a year ago, Mike Wolf did an article on text-to-speech with Microsoft Access. And we even had a little couple comments down here. I, I commented on it myself, right? Um, I said, yeah, uh, nobody seemed interested in having your accounting database yell at you. Your customer, Joe Smith, is 30 days late in his invoice. Make him pay. No. Ah! Right? <laughs> Not everyone wants this, but I figured I had a couple people ask me how to do it. So Mike's got some really cool, really simple short code right there. And it works great. And I'm going to put a link to this in the description down below so you can click on it and just copy that code right there how do you do it well just come in here clip copy like that control c come over to your database i made my status box here i put some text in it and i put a button on here and in that button's code i do a check for null first i say if that status box is null exit the sub don't do anything but otherwise speak status box now speak is the procedure that was on Mike's website and it's right here. I change it from male to female. I think it sounds better. Right? And that's all it does right there. It uses the speech API that comes with I believe it comes with Windows or Office, one of the two. And that's it. That's all you need. And you come back out here and click Space. The final frontier. There you go. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. And of course you could change it to male if you want to. Where'd it go? Just a male. And then what do we get? Space, the final frontier. Doesn't quite sound like Kirk. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. I remember when I was younger, getting a computer to talk was like a big deal. I had a, a TRS-80 Coco was my first computer, and they had this big pack, this this ROM pack you could plug into it in your expansion pack, and it would it would make the computer be able to talk like that. Very Stephen Hawking, but it could still talk, and that was the coolest thing. Nowadays, it's no big deal, right? Four lines of code. But on, if you're interested in learning more, on Mike's website, he's got more stuff in here. And there's some links to, like, Colin, Colin Reddington's website. He's got some extra stuff uh, that you might want to check out. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff. So there's your fast tip for today. I'll put links to all this stuff down below. Go check out Mike's website, Colin's website. Uh, I'll put a copy of the code in my code vault for free for everybody. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. That's it. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and 
one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.